All right, hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. This is just going to be a quick little video on how to get the Nucleus Nano 2 to work with the Blackmagic app, which is what's, what you're seeing through the ATEM and the, the Nucleus Nano 2 in. So, uh, I just ordered this a day or two after Christmas when I saw it on sale at B&H. Uh, this the Nucleus Nano 2 goes for about 169 full retail. I was assuming that it would work just fine with the Black Magic app uh, after version 1.2, which provided support for the Nucleus M and the Nucleus Nano. So first thing I did when I got the 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 Nano is I went into my settings. So on the right hand column of this app, and went down to the accessories section where this is and under where it says nucleus wireless lens control tap none had the bluetooth on on my phone had the bluetooth on on the nucleus nano and nothing showed up so I started searching on the web and went back to a video that had actually kind of encouraged me to take this step and yeah, let's head on over there. It was this video by WRN Film on the Nucleus. He, he got the Nucleus M to work with the Blackmagic app. And I, I went into the comments and was got fairly discouraged because there was a person here that had bought the Nano, um, having trouble doing this with the Nano 2, following these destructions and can't get it to connect. So comment was that the actual firmware notes don't actually mention the Nano 2. So then I went, uh, you know, kind of get preparing myself to send this back to B&H. Then I went to the Nucleus site and started poking around. And I kept running, in, running into this article on the Nucleus Nano 2 firmware change log. And then it says, addition Blackmagic camera app. Control functions, focus, zoom, re focus, zoom, record. So it doesn't have iris, which is, I wish it would have some kind of option to control exposure. It does not currently support that. It's just focus, zoom, and record. But then I was looking over in here, I had seen a, a previous page for the Nucleus M where there was a download file for the Nucleus M to download to your computer and then transmit it over to the product and I wasn't finding it. So I'm poking around. Let's go back to this screen and get out of here. So let's fight let's fire up the Nucleus M. And so first of all it has a really nice feel to it. Um, it has a certain heft that is makes it feel like camera equipment. I don't know if they weight it to make it feel that way or what. Anyway, it's got um, a record button, a little rocker, a function button, which just sets little markers in the focus or zoom settings, and then the wheel itself. So by default, this is going to do focus. This is going to do zoom. And the record button actually also turns this on. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold for about two seconds. It's turning on takes us to the main screen and the first thing I did was I had headed over to Bluetooth. I don't know if you can you can see that right there, but I'm gonna head over to Bluetooth. I flipped it on and went into my settings and that's where I saw none. So anyway, uh, let's tap this little arrow right here. And uh, so I, I, I went in and I thought, well, maybe it will connect better if I go to Wi-Fi. So I flipped Wi-Fi on, went into settings, grabbed one of my Wi-Fis and, and put in the password. So we'll, we'll go ahead and touch one. And I don't, it seems to me that I'm having to re-enter the password every single time I go in here. And that is maddening. Also, once you do it, and there's places for uppercase letters, lowercase letters, special characters, and then of course numbers. So I'm gonna tap okay. Um, then when you do it, there's not really a clear indicator that you're attached to Wi-Fi. But anyway, I, um, 
gonna go ahead and tap X here. When after I did that, however, I did put in my password for my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the arrow again, and we'll touch this little guy and slide over to system. So let's go ahead and touch that, and I'm gonna touch the top thing, and you'll notice that I have some firmware now from December 21st, 2023. Now I didn't make a note of what that was before. I, I will have a little video to show you of the last number that it was before I started the, uh, the firmware update. But this is the one that we're looking for. This is the same one, the same number that was in that article where it says this is supported. So let's tap back and this is where we wanna go. So for this to work, you're going to have to be connected to Wi-Fi because the firmware is going to get downloaded directly to the, the Nucleus Nano 2. No, no computer needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch that. And when I went into it, you'll notice there's five things here. All of the things had the little round, uh, round arrow files. And um, when I tapped, when I tapped them, I was asked to confirm. And uh, when I wasn't connected to Wi-Fi, I think that was grayed out, but I'm going to cancel that. So this is indicating that there is no currently no new firmware update for either the Handwheel M or the Handwheel S. And just based on file size, I think the main one that we're interested in is the Handwheel M. I just went ahead and updated everything that I could update. So anyway, if somebody can explain what's the difference between the M and the S, I would appreciate that. But uh, anyway, we'll maybe we'll head over to the video and, and show you what it looked like at the very last minute. So I'm going to set this down for a sec. And let's, uh, let's go play this. So uh, this is... Um, the last percent, and, and it looks like the, the in parentheses, the 7,011,336, 7, that was, I, I'm pretty sure, uh, the number of bytes or megabytes or whatever. So I think it's 7 gigabytes. And this took about, I would say, 20 minutes at least for this, the Handwheel M update to occur. Now, the, the hand, let's, let's go ahead and play this. And um, so as soon as it got to 100%, it blacked out, restarted, and that was pretty much it. I think it would have worked at that point, but uh, I think in this video I go back and do the, um, the S. So this is what it looked like before. I tapped the little round circle there, confirmed, and... This is going to be relatively quick compared to the the handwheel M. So this happened in less than a minute. I am certain that it took at least 20 minutes. Of course, that's probably going to depend on your how fast your Wi-Fi is. So anyway, the motors, I don't have any motors, so those are not, it, they kind of snagged at 2%. Um, but anyway, if you've got motors, if you've got maybe a fancy rig where you're adding lenses to the iPhone, um, you'll, you can maybe watch some videos on that because there, there are some little snags and stuff for how to, how to get that going. So anyway, uh, let's flip back over here. And I'm going to get this back over into um, this gear, the settings. So if you're in the main section, I don't know of a better way to get into the settings than to tap the Bluetooth, then tap this little arrow a couple of times. So the settings is our main deal. And um, you can calibrate the knob. Um, I, you know, I don't know that there's going to be a particular benefit to doing that with the Blackmagic app. So um, anyway, the goodness that we're looking for is going to be two, two, maybe three places, and that's under knob, under rocker, and depending on how you like the rocker, there's a rocker speed option. And so 
I personally like my rocker speed to be a little bit slower than the, the default, which is 100%. But anyway, let's go back and look at knob. So this is this is the knob, and it's currently set to, to focus. And actually, I don't think I've actually turned, have I turned on my Bluetooth? Let's, let's hit the settings one more time and go back over here to, I think it's this one. Bluetooth is on. Um, you know, what I haven't done is gone back into the settings on the Blackmagic app. I'm going to hit set tap settings and switch over to Nucleus Nano. So now that appears after the firmware update, tap settings again, and I believe, let's see, are we seeing any changes here? If we went over to, oh, maybe let's take that off of auto. Uh, oh, maybe I need to get out of the house. There we go. So here we go. Now, now this is working. You can actually see it controlling the focus on on the app. If I, I and uh, I can pull the ATEM into focus, or I can go down and pull the the tilt it back into focus. So, so anyway. I th it has a really satisfying feel to it. Um, the rocker on the side, I, this is the part that I turned down to 60%. This is set to zoom. So just uh, zoom in on that. Let's see if I can pull that back into focus again at this particular zoom level. Pull back out. And if you pull hard, you can make it zoom. You can make it zoom quicker even with the slower setting. So it's telling us where we're zooming to. Um, so anyway, the function button, I, I really, really wish that the function button would allow me, at least with an, a, a setting, if there was per, perhaps a setting for the function button, um, what it does right now is it puts a little marker. I don't know if you saw that. It was it was a marker for the particular spot, and now it's when I hit that spot, it does a little vibrate, and I think if you double tap that, it will remove it'll remove the mark. So um, so anyway, uh, that's what the function button does. It puts little markers whether you're zooming or focusing. It can do that. I wish it would let me press that and switch between focus and zoom using using the wheel. So the rocker is okay for focus. I mean, uh, for zoom, it's better than I was expecting. Um, I do just like the, I like the feel of the wheel. And um, so anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. This also, if I press this, let me go ahead and press that. That's starting the Blackmagic app recording. So internally to the, internally to the internal memory or to your external memory if you've got one of the if you got that happening I have right now the this is a 12 Pro Max so um, I can tell tell you with assurance that it works for that obviously it works with the newer 15 Pro so I'm assuming it works at least between the 12 Pro Max and the 15 Pro um, perhaps even works with lower than the 12 Pro so anything where the Blackmagic app actually works but we'll leave you guys to determine that in the comments. So anyway, I think I think that's all I've got for you. I'm going to go ahead and press record again, stop that. And, uh, you know, I think that's all I've got for this video. There's other things I could say about the Blackmagic app, and we're going to call it quits for the day. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, and have a good day. Bye for now. <laughs>